Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 1725. A foolish son brings grief to his father and bitterness to the mother who bore him. The fact about this verse is there's two very, very, very strong feelings, emotions, grief and bitterness. And when these two get intertwined, they can really take root and bring a lot of disaster upon a family. I don't know that there's anything stronger than a mother and a, or a parent, mother or father, experiencing a wayward child. That those emotions are so strong and heavy and they're hard to lay down because they're constant. Because <clears throat> the prodigal son, his father knew this really well, but what was awesome about that story is the father lived in expectation. He lived in hope. And his hope wasn't placed in his son. His hope was placed in the Lord. And he, that's something I believe that we, as parents, if we have wayward children, always need to remember. We don't place our hope in our child, but we place our hope in the Lord. And the Lord's eyes are always upon our children and seeing exactly what they're doing. Our hearts may grieve, yes. But here's an interesting word that Solomon brought out was the word bitterness and root. Bitterness takes a root. And when bitterness takes a root, that root goes so deep, it affects all aspects of our lives. It affects the way we see other children. It affects the way we do our work. It affects the way we do our marriage. It, it, when, when bitterness gets in, it, it, just, it comes out in anger. You can't help but to see things through the bitter root because it's there. And as a result of that, it, you become a very unhappy, we become very unhappy people and a distorted view. And so here's the counsel. How do we get rid of a bitter root? It's almost like you have to take it from the root and that's why it's called bitterness takes a root. You have to take it and pull it out. It, it's almost a choice whether we are going to allow our perspective to remain bitter, allow the roots to continue to grow, or we're going to allow the Lord to reach in, take it, and pull it out. And as a result of that space that's created there, love comes flowing in. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge all of us. If, and some of us may even be blind. I've been in conversations with people who are so bitter, as well as you probably have as well. They don't even recognize their own bitterness. They don't recognize that their words are constantly bitter and constantly anger, angry. And sometimes they have to have an eye-opening experience to be able to see this is their perspective. And so I'm going to challenge you that if you're surrounded by people like that, or if you're one of those people, choose love. I know that sounds so simple, but it's so difficult. Love is beyond emotion. Love is beyond how you feel. When you choose to love, bitterness cannot, cannot resonate there. So that's, that's the challenge for today. Take a good look in the mirror. Watch your language. Are you bitter in any places of your life? Have you allowed the language of bitterness to control you? Choose love today. You will be so glad that you did.